On this episode of China Uncensored, I am sad and offended. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell, and it's good to be back. Here's a little slideshow of some of my vacation photos. But while I was off having fun, I realized that while I was enjoying the balmy weather of Los Angeles, I was actually getting burned the whole time. Back on October 10th, China hosted the World Media Summit, a chance for leaders of major global media to pool collective wisdom and discuss survival and development. Boing! Somebody sure dropped the ball because guess who didn't get invited? I mean, I'm a leader of global media. In the same way that a media event organized by one of the world's worst suppressor of information is about advancing media development. The World Media Summit is a non-governmental event organized by Xinhua News Agency, and calling anything Xinhua does non-governmental is kind of like calling pizza a vegetable because it has tomato sauce. The summit is the direct result of media policy put in place by former Chinese leader Hu Jintao in 2008. The Communist Party wanted a bigger voice in the international media community, but it was being drowned out by so much negativity about China's suppression of media and the occasional human rights snafu. So the solution was obvious. Throw a party and invite everyone. But what self-respecting international media would actually indulge the Chinese regime in propping up this farce? Obviously none. But the very biggest and most influential. Wow, you've got to get Google credit for still trying. They all met in Hangzhou, a picturesque metropolis in eastern China, and got to rub elbows with guys like Xinhua News Agency chief Li Tongjun, who everyone knows has been making great strides in reforming Chinese media and saying things like, the party must be confident and courageous in its positive propaganda, carrying out the public opinion and struggle with a clear banner. It must have been a very enjoyable dinner they all had. They could have talked about that 16-year-old kid that got arrested only a few weeks before for spreading rumors online. Now, some people, Debbie Downers I like to call them, might still have a lingering worry that this is just a ploy by the Chinese regime to spread its propaganda overseas by whining and dining media groups that are already fighting each other tooth and nail to get a piece of the Chinese market. Well, lingering worries dispelled. According to Xinhua, next year, the New York Times will host the World Media Summit. They have big shoes to fill, too, because last year, Moscow hosted the party. And the year before that, the first ever World Media Summit kicked off in Beijing in the Great Hall of the People. But you know, the New York Times really was the logical choice. Obviously, they're one of the most trusted papers out there, so they're perfect for helping the regime to minimize bad PR. I mean, if the time chooses not to report on something like, say, the Chinese government is killing prisoners of conscience for their organs, it's like it never happened. If you want to know what else the Times may not have told you, check out my episode, The New York Times' Dirty Secret. Oh, and if you're wondering why you've never heard of this big summit by the world's top news providers, well, it's because none of them bothered to report about it. For some reason, these media bosses were happy enough to pose for Xinhua's cameras, but that's as much publicity as they wanted. But whatever. I just hope they'll remember to invite me next time. They could use some of my collective wisdom. Thanks for watching China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.